everybody. It's me, Stella Wild. Thanks for stopping by for your November 2018 tarot and energy scopes, I guess we can call them. A few announcements before we get into your monthly. First of all, please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already done so, so that you are notified as soon as I post new videos. I do post also a weekly video. Um, Sometimes I do all the signs, sometimes I just do it by element, but you definitely want to check those out. Um, two other quick things. I have launched a Jupiter in Sagittarius luck and opportunity forecast. It goes sign by sign um, by the astrological houses, so you know exactly how Jupiter is affecting your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign. You get all 12 signs for one price i will put the link in the description uh, jupiter enters sagittarius in november on november 8th so you might want to check out that offering it's over six hours of videos yeah <laughs> six hours um and the other thing is that i am running a halloween reading special there's only a limited number of those. There are 20 minute deep dive into one issue, one particular question, one particular issue in your life because it's only 20 minutes. And I'm the type of person you probably know if you've been watching my videos the last couple of months, I'd rather go, you know, one inch wide and one mile deep into a topic than, you know, into all different things. So. Um, anyway, if that's of interest to you, I will leave the link in the description. And as always, I really appreciate all of your comments, all of your likes, all of your shares. It really helps me grow my channel and um, help more people with the intuitive messages that I have to share. So thank you very much. And now let's get into your monthlies. See you on the other side. Okay, Libra, so here we are with your reading for November 2018. Um, before we get into it, let me tell you the decks I am using. The I'm in a real John Holland mood for November. I'm using John Holland's Psychic Tarot and John Holland's Spirit Messages decks. So what I'm going to do, I don't normally do a Celtic cross for the monthlies. Excuse me, I have something in my eye. Um, but... I am going to for this month because I'm intuitively being guided to do that for you guys. So I'm going to, I've already been kind of shuffling and, and tuning into your energy. I will be laying out um, a Celtic cross. I like to do what I call extending the reading. So instead of 10 cards, I usually put out four or five after that out main outcome card so I can see where the energy goes um, after that. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing. Remember, if this does, this is a general reading. If this does not resonate with you, make sure you watch your moon sign, your rising, sun's already popping out, rising sign, and your Venus sign, because this is general. And I don't know what the main theme is until uh, the cards come out. Well, we already have one card that popped out, which is the High Priestess Upright. So your month of November is going to be one of interesting downloads and intuition Libra, which makes sense because your ruling planet Venus is going to be retrograde in your sign for half of November until November 16th. So many of many Libras are, are, are rethinking uh, what they're doing for their work. That's been a theme that's been coming up the last couple of months in these readings. Um, but let's see what else you have. Your intuition is probably going to be bringing you back insights from the past as well. And what I mean by that is insights that you have already had. You've already had these intuitive hits. Whatever, for whatever reason, maybe you didn't act upon them. Maybe they got pushed to the back of your mind. As the, I mean, that sometimes happens. I encourage everybody to keep a psychic journal <laughs> um, because it's so easy to get hits that come in. And then, you know, if you don't quickly make note of them they can just evaporate um because you know our lives are so fast paced that it's, it's that's very easy to have that happen so i would encourage you to to do that this month libra because i think you're going to be getting a lot of um with that venus retrograde energy psychic hits stemming from past issues as well as 
uh, you know, really deja vu. You already had those intuitive hits, whether in your dreams or, you know, uh, messages that came to you, omens, signs, you know, whatever. But um, they're going to be coming back around again. And the ones that come back around, I think they're going to have um, an energy about them that you're going to very easily recognize that they are they are ones you've had before. And <clears throat> so... Excuse me, another card just popped out. Wheel of Fortune, baby. <laughs> this is really your destiny. This just this just popped out as I was shuffling. So we have High Priestess and Destiny. So these, as I was saying, these intuitions that are coming to you from the past, um, the ones that that really have a very um, I am like, I'm very tactile, right? A very significant psychic vibration. Like you're going to feel it. You're going to know. You're going to, you know, you know when you have a deja vu feeling. feeling. Most people do. So you're going to, you're going to have that psychic sense. You're going to know. And those are the ones you really need to pay attention to and make note of. Because not only are they coming from the past, but they are coming with some additional new information for you, Libra. And it is all about guiding you toward your destiny. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's see what else you have. All right, so let me lay out these cards feel ready. They're popping all over. Let's lay them out and see what you have. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So already I'm seeing that there's a situation that uh, let me see what the rest of the cards are. It could be love related also um, that you have had a hard time uh, moving on from Libra. Hard time moving on from. Yeah, I think this is a love reading Libra, actually. Sorry, I'm like all discombobulated. OK. All right, let's see. All right, let me see. You got some very interesting energy. Okay. Um, I really had to extend this reading because there was, there's a lot of different things coming up here, Libra. You just give me a second to look at this. Um, I think you're going to think all is lost with a certain love relationship. Okay. I think that um, what I'm sensing here from looking at these cards, as you start with this Venus retrograde, you're going to be getting intuitive hits and you're going to... Um, be still really psychically tuned into somebody who has, um, who's no longer in your life. I, I honestly feel this can be, I know this can sound cliche and you see it a lot on YouTube, you know, the lover coming back, but honestly, that is what I'm seeing from this energy. Um, right now it looks bleak. It looks like they're not like they're not coming back right they have moved on we have this moving on six of swords um energy that's bringing you to the destined moment so for whatever reason and in the recent past we have three of swords upside down so the heartache and loss card so there has been a um this probably happened, actually, I'm just getting it coming in. This probably happened at the um, lunar eclipse at the end of July. Okay. I think that it has a strong connection with that time period that this person left then. Okay. The relationship ended around that time. Um, and for whatever reason, that was supposed to happen. I think that this person, this person is coming back though. This person's coming back. So before it Libras, you start clicking away and, you know, don't watch the rest of the video. Hang in there because they are coming back. Um, I think the main reason why they left is that they were... I don't see any third party here. What I'm seeing is that they were not on the same page as you, Libra, commitment-wise. 
it's not necessarily that they were playing around because I'm not seeing that here. Although, of course, with the Three of Swords, it can be indicated because it's a three. So, it, you know, it could have been. But I am not sensing that. I am not seeing that from here. What I am seeing is more that they were, because I have two cards here, maybe three, about um, having to wait. So what I'm feeling from these cards is that, actually four cards about waiting, <laughs> that they um, were not ready to fully commit to you. Not because of somebody else, but because of their own reasons, whatever they were. I mean, yeah, maybe they were thinking they they could still date around. Maybe they weren't totally value valuing you. Um, but I feel it could also be something to do with their money situation um, that made them that they had an um, an unstable money situation and that made them unable to commit. Their money maybe had to go somewhere else. Maybe they were still in the process of getting a divorce um, and they, you know, had to direct all their time and their energy and their attention and their funds, you know, to paying lawyers, paying child support, whatever the case may be. Um, so that relationship ended at the eclipse. And, you know, sometimes people say that just getting my crystal here. Sometimes people say that, um, you know, when a relationship ends on an eclipse, it's over for good. That isn't necessarily the case. It can be, absolutely. It can be. Eclipses, as we know, especially that full moon eclipse at the end of July brought a lot of endings for people. But that is not a hard and fast rule. Because we have to remember that there's individual destiny, there's individual karma, there's individual situations that happen with people. I firmly believe, check out Carolyn Mace, M-Y-S-S. She does great work about sacred co contracts and, um, my machine just cut out there, and, and, you know, soul contracts and how, you know, we incarnate and we, you know, make these contracts before we come in to meet certain people at certain times. And, um, you know, so I think that, you know, like I said, there's no hard and fast rules. There are sometimes there are destined relationships and things that occur um, because it's part of that contract that we made with that person before we came in. And I feel that is what's going on here, Libra. Um, so there was this moving on. Again, it's a general reading. Maybe there was a third party, but I just am not entirely feeling that. Um, your intuition has been giving you lots of psychic hits that this relationship is not over. You are probably having telepathic communication with the individual. You are probably seeing him or her in your daily travels, not literally, but somebody who looks like them. You are seeing signs, symbols, omens, different things that remind you of that person, Libra. And you're like, oh my God, like why? Like this is supposed to be over, but uh-uh, right? Your intuition knows it's not over. The wheel of destiny is going to turn again, Libra. All you have to do right now, you gotta take a relaxation pill. <laughs> Okay, rest and rejuvenate. Four of Swords is up right here for you, Libra. And I'm filming this on the day before Halloween. I'm filming it on October 30th. I feel that this person will come back around the end of November, probably about a month, three and a half weeks to a month from now, because we have the four here. And um, actually, it's probably going to be about three weeks because I let me... Probably you'll hear from them around Thanksgiving if you celebrate that here in the United States. That's when you're going to hear from them. All right, but your near future energy is just take a freaking chill pill. <laughs> because I think, you know, intuition can be a blessing and sometimes it can be a curse. As with most things, there's a positive and a not so positive. Because sometimes with the intuition, you keep getting the information and it, and it can drive you not crazy, but it can... And put, sometimes put you in that, well, I'm getting these hits. I know they're accurate. When is it going to manifest? Like, I know this person's thinking about me. I mean, I just know I'm going to 
you know, hear from them again, like how come it hasn't happened yet? So that's what I'm saying. Like, just like relax, rest and rejuvenate. It's coming. They're coming back. They're coming back. It is not over. Your heart is the hermit. You're not giving your heart to anybody, Libra, right now. You need a time out. You need solitude. You're reading this chapter of your life, right? I love this card. You're reading this, this chapter in your life and you're trying to learn the lessons from it because you're like, you know, WTF, like, <laughs> so, you know, that's what's happening in your heart. Um, in your environment, you have the eight of wands upside down. So there was a misfiring. There was a misdirection. There was somebody who um, put something out in the wrong way. It's not you. It's the person who broke up with you. They went in a wrong direction. And they're going to find that out. They're finding that out, and that's why they're coming back. Your hope slash fear, your hope and your fear is this. The um, the two of, wait, is this? No, this is the purple one. This is the, um, the um, I'm sorry. This is, yeah, this is the two of wands. <laughs> it's slightly different in this deck um, with the colors. So, it just looked blue to me there for a moment. All right, so you have the two of wands here in your hope and your fear. So will you be able to walk through that door Is with that person again? Is time on your side? Time is on your side. Because look at this. And look at this person, you know, walking around. The roots are very deep with this individual, Libra. The relationship is going to blossom again. It is going to. You just have to wait. And that is part of this rest and rejuvenation. Because there are things that you're still processing about this situation in your heart. Like I said, you're reading this chapter of your life. You're reviewing it. And you need to, Libra, also figure out what you need to do differently when this person comes back as well. How your response is going to be different. But look at all the symbols here, you know, with this circular you know, hourglass, time is on your side. And again, the circle, the destiny, the wheel is going to turn Libra, but you can't rush it. The wheel is turning and it's coming. What's influencing the outcome, the card that's at the top of the Celtic cross, that's how I like to interpret it. I say that it's influencing the outcome is the nine of wands upside down. And uh, John Holland calls this the spiritual strength card. Okay, so you can see, I hope you can, it's a little glare from my light. Okay, spiritual strength. It is upside down. You have no more, oh, let me rephrase that. You don't want to waste any more of your precious emotional, psychic, spiritual, physical energy on this relationship unless it comes back for real unless it's real it's committed otherwise you don't want it and that's what you're going to be figuring out with this this in this time of solitude that if it if it ain't real forget it right it's you just you do not want it um but it is going to be real it's going to be very real it's going to be very real um all right we have quite a story here for your outcome libra First of all, you have to be patient. You have to be patient. This beautiful lily is a symbol. I mean, to me, it looks like a lily. I mean, I guess it could be an orchid, but to me, it looks like a lily. It's a symbol of resurrection. If you are patient, don't be texting them, Libra. <laughs> All right, there should be no contact. There probably has been no contact since this end of July. Do not, after you look, get this reading from me, <laughs> do not be on your phone texting the person. That's not going to work. They are coming back. You need to just chillax and be patient for the resurrection to happen. They need to work this out and figure this out on their own. They need to work through their own karma, their own bad decision that they made due to what they thought were circumstances that they had to make that decision, but they realized that they were BS circumstances. It was it's a bunch of bullshit. They, they really, you know, 
talk themselves into it. They rationalized it for whatever reason. I mean, I'm getting a feeling like for some of some people there, there was maybe an, a, just an emotional overload. They had so many other things, I'm especially feeling like a divorce situation. And they, they just had so much other stuff going on Libra that they could not, you know, they justified it to themselves to kind of end it with you to focus on on that because they just they couldn't deal. But they're going to realize that was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Um, so they're coming back. Now look at these cards. Um, I'm going to read. There's two that are upside down here. I feel that these are in relationship. Uh, in relationship. In relation to the person who's coming back. This is not your energy. Because all of your cards here are upright. It's very interesting. All the cards look, referencing them are upside down. So let me let me go with your cards here. And we have Major Arcana. So it's like this is a major karmic situation that's going to be coming back for you. We have a Three of Cups, Rejoice in Celebration. All right. Which again, another three that could maybe be third party energy. But and we had the Three of Swords upright in the I mean, upside down in the past. But again, I'm not feeling it might be applicable to some Libras, though. We have the fact that the situation you know, you, you sacrificed, you waited, but look, there's a rainbow coming out of that sacrifice because the, there's going to be, the rainbow is not only them coming back, but it is the knowledge that you gained about yourself and your own heart and what you're willing to put up with now. We have um, the tower card. We have disruption. So suddenly, again, like it's going, like it's going to come out of the blue. It's probably when you're going to be at Thanksgiving dinner, and you're going to get the text. You're going to be with family and friends. It's going to be right around that time, family and friends, and boom, the message is going to come in. And look what we end with. Look at the circle, right? The destiny, the heart chakra is lit up. The heart chakra is lit up here too. Passion ignited. This is the ace of wands. It is upright. So when this person comes back, there is going to be an amazing passion. The two, I mean, the, why does my computer keep doing this? The two of you have, have really, I mean, yeah. With the flame here, I mean, I really feel this can be a twin flame situation. Um, and it, it's going to be a connection that is going to be even more intense than what it was before. Because you two, there is a destiny there. You two still have a destiny to fulfill together. And the passion is going to come out. Now, this is why I said I think this person had a... Um, problem to do with money and or trying to get a divorce because we have the five um the hierophant upside down and we have the ace of pentacles upside down so and look it's like the same tree in a way right look in the two of wands can you see this tree here that's in the two of wands like you're building that prosperity you have to you know wait and build it and here's the same tree later, but it's upside down. So it's a similar connection that's happening here. So the Ace of Pentacles upside down, they couldn't make the offer to you because they were either still getting divorced or they didn't have enough money from the divorce. Um, Cause you know, five of, um, five of Pentacles, it's not the five of Pentacles, it's the Hierophant. The Hierophant um, can mean commitments, can mean marriage. And when it's upside down can mean the opposite you know, trying to get out of a commitment, trying to get a divorce. Um, you know, the justice card can also indicate divorcing. Um, but what's interesting too, I feel, because remember, we also had this card upside down in relation to them, the Eight of Wands. I feel like they made a bad decision. They made an unwise decision to leave you based on the fact that they had all of these money issues going on. They headed in the wrong direction. Okay, but and they're going to they're going to confess that to you. You're going to find out that that is the real reason 
because they were hiding that they didn't want to admit to you libra how overwhelmed they were feeling about this situation and so they decided instead to just sacrifice the relationship with you because they you know they couldn't you know they they didn't want to admit they didn't want to appear weak in front of you all right but um you just have to be patient there will be a celebration connected with this person coming back and it will be it will happen very quickly very suddenly and it will probably as i said be around your thanksgiving holiday time in the u.s that's the 22nd i believe of november um and uh you will be a little <laughs> a little taken aback but i mean again not really because your intuition has been getting these hits so you kind of know that this is coming um but i think there will be there it is possible that there is another element of surprise here that we just don't know and i'm not I mean i'm not really sensing it um i'm hearing that some of them may show up with a gift for you i mean an actual gift like you know guilt jewelry like they give you jewelry because they feel bad I, hey why not you know okay anyway passion ignited awesome card to end the reading on um we got to do our oracle cards though so let's pull it pull an oracle card for what else you need to know libra about this reading but um yeah I th this is very positive the thing is you know things really do happen for a reason i know it's such a cliche but it is true and um like i said i feel like there is still there's still an element of something going on with this person and you are still meant to be in each other's lives and it's not just to be friends because otherwise why would we be getting this right there's going to be a passionate connection there physical mental emotional it's back on that's the title of your video it's back on it's back on libra it's back on all right let's see what else you need to know okay all right this is interesting um you got ancestral wisdom so this kind of ties in a little bit what i was saying about you know soul contracts we are your ancestors and we love you we walked the earth many years before you we ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences you are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So I, th I think it's interesting there. I would, um, you know, tomorrow's Halloween. I think you'll be able to watch this video before Halloween, but the veil's very thin this week. I'm filming this on uh, October 30th. And, you know, check in Libra, check in with your intuition, check in with your dreams. I mean, really listen, there, there could be a spiritual lesson from, you know, your ancestors your ancestral wisdom that is connected with this type of relationship situation that you can draw strength from you can you know draw sustenance and spirit from to get you through the waiting period because there will be the, this little bit this three week waiting period um and i know it, it sometimes three weeks can seem like a lifetime you know i know i understand so um it's possible that this this situation you know the emotional imprint of this situation is something that also one of your ancestors has gone through and they can provide you some wisdom from behind the veil to help you through the waiting period um so that's very interesting i would also um spend some time with your book of the heart and really see what else you need to learn from this situation that happened and how you want to change things going forward with this person because this is a good time you'll have a good opportunity to yes reunite and have it be back on but it also needs to be back on on your terms too libra because you know you don't have the energy to deal with with the bullshit, like i said so you know take this time to figure out what other kinds of um 
you know, requirements you're going to need from this person if they think that they're going to be able to come back and be with you. Okay. All right. I wish you a great November, Libra. Let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe how this resonates with you and what happens for your November. I'm really excited to hear. And I wish you all the best as always. Take care. Still alive. Signing off. See you in December. Bye.